It has been a busy week so far, an impromptu cooking demo with my buddy Michael Chiarello. I find out that Katie Couric is coming to San Francisco for a photo shoot to promote her new show at ABC7. And guess who's catering it? Yeah, me. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I guess Katie's not the only one that's having a photo shoot. Uh, having a photo shoot. It's really kind of fun. You have to do a lot of things to remind yourself to uh, smile. So it is totally customary in the Scott household when somebody's coming to town and you meet them for the first time, you gotta get them a gift, right? So I'm gonna get Katie my favorite thing in the whole city, four barrel coffee. I can't wait to get it for her. I'm gonna run in and get it now. Hey Jeremy, what's up buddy? How are you? Good man, how you hey. doing? You know, uh, nice to see you. You know how much I love Four Barrel. You guys have been here uh, three, four years. Four years. four years. I've been coming here since the beginning. It's my favorite coffee. And what I haven't told you yet is I've got a really special friend that's kind of, um, you know, does a lot of TV and she drinks a lot of coffee. And so I figured, what better than bring her my favorite coffee from San Francisco? What Excellent. do you think? I, I love it. What is going on here? So this is called a cupping. This is this is actually where we we find all the coffees. Uh, we do all of our own buying, so this is where we, do, we assess all the quality. What, what are they smelling for? What are we looking yeah, for? Yeah, they're smelling for. This is these are all our new Kenya rivals. These are actually this is the first time anyone's gonna taste these besides us three. So is can, Kenya the smell, best bean? Is this mainly where you buy some from? Some of it. Some of it. I mean, it's it's one of the favorites for like the coffee the coffee connoisseurs. Kind of it's one of the favorites. This is like uh, you know this is like the Barolo. But, um, why, why is that? Is it just more robust, more it's nutty? Like a, it's, it's brighter, it's more acidity focused, a lot sweeter. Okay. Um, it's due to the variety and the farming practices they use, the processing, everything. Uh -huh. um, it demands the highest dollar. You just shake it up a little bit. We smell oh, it and we smell it for, we're smelling for fruit, for sweetness. We're smelling for like all the little characters that we're we use to make our descriptions. And so what if you don't even, what if you don't find anything in this and you don't like it? What do you do then? Oh, we wouldn't even make it to this table. At this stage, this is the rival. We, we just okay. reject it. So. Okay. Yeah, we score them on one to a hundred uh, and, and you know, it's a very, very intense process, but we, uh, we're all trained on how to score. So this is the four row. This is the namesake. Okay. This is uh, four miniature versions of our big roaster. Okay. And this is how we test for quality. So we get a sample from the farm. Looks and like this, this is a sample. This is like green coffee yeah. beans. Right. This is they look like lentils. from the farm. Yeah. They're the seeds of a cherry, basically. <laughs> and I didn't know that. I would have been making coffee a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we take the beans. We take that, and then we uh, we roast this little guy. Okay. And we we just we're doing it. We know don't do any profiling. We just do it to a very specific level for tasting. We take the beans. We throw them up to the top. Throw up there. They go in there, and uh, they, they heat from the bottom. It so heats it's, from the it's, bottom. It's hitting the, the drum directly. That's the conductive part. There's also being air sucked through it, uh, through the back, out to this top part, and that's uh, the convective part. So it's, it's a balance of, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to caramelize the coffee in the, the right stages, bring out the, the sweetest point we can. Oh, how do you know? Because it's Sarah standing here, watching through here at the same time, right. checking and smelling. Yeah, yeah. And when, when she gets further along, you'll see her, you'll see her like pull the try out, smell it, looking at it, um, smell it for. What do you smell it for, Sarah? Butteriness, yeah, yeah. yeah, maltiness, yeah. And you're just checking these, Sarah, because you're bored or because they're warm. I'm just making sure that the temperature is okay for me to drop them into the bucket. Okay. Yeah. So this is the cooling part. It's actually being sucked through them right now. How yeah. many stages from these beans going in here until done? Well, there's basically two two big stages, and then there's there's uh, you know that goes to both. Some of them have spill over. There's the drying stage and the roasting stage, but then the caramelization, the the, the mayored reaction happens like halfway through the drying stage. Okay. It finishes halfway, you know, all the way to the end, basically. Hey, I gotta get out of here. Can you uh, get that yeah. bag for me so yeah, I can course. give it as a gift? Of course. Here's the, right. uh, it's the Guatemala Yellow Bourbon. It's a pretty rare variety. Uh, super sweet, tropical fruit. It's a beautiful coffee. Uh, the Guatemala what? Uh, Britannia Yellow Bourbon. I'm gonna tell her I got a great cup of coffee. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I'll all see right. you soon, all right? Thanks. Up next, we got a catering event, a special breakfast for Katie Couric. I'm a little nervous, but uh, get the chance to cook for her and make her breakfast. It's gonna be fun. I absolutely adore Katie Couric. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. There is absolutely so much going on this week. Just a few days ago, I was in Napa hosting my radio show, and guess who shows up? Michael Chiarello. 
This show is not going to be cooking with Ryan Scott for another three minutes. This is cooking with Michael Chiarello. Okay. Today is the day that I finally get to meet Katie Couric. I'm looking forward to her trying the dish that I made for her. I'm also catering Katie's event here in San Francisco, but we're also prepping for our catering clients at the same time. And then let's just throw two restaurants on top of that. It's a little busy in here. Plus my catering company is getting everything ready. Look at the guys, Adam's already got it all set up. All the homemade pastries that Curtis made, and Adam's just standing there. <laughs> uh, all the homemade pastries, and we even got, look, check this out. Went as far as getting little Katie mugs over there. Coffee's ready, dessert's ready. A big picture of her is ready, and everything else. And then I want to show you this over here. Too. Here's the demo, we got the demo completely set up. My Amazing Dolores food stylist is helping us get everything ready. Pesto is great on the bottom. Katie's favorite thing is egg whites and bacon, so I've done my twist on that and cannot wait to show you guys how it turns out. Coming up, drum roll, it's finally time to meet Katie. I really don't know what I'm gonna do if she doesn't like my dish. Ooh, your sad face. <laughs> 